All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is me checking out something a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing and showing you my Magic the Gathering collection. I'm probably going to be doing this in parts just because I have a lot to go through, but I love Magic the Gathering. It's one of my favorite games that I still enjoy and play. I love collecting the cards. I love the art of it. I just think it's so fun. It's got a nice a sense of community when you get to play with people. It brings people together. I love the art of it. It's always been such a big pull to me. Collecting the cards is so much fun and just reminiscing, remembering about the past and the newer cards. And it's just, it's an exciting, wonderful game that I love to be a part of and I love to share with you all. And I just kind of want to share um, my collection with you all. Some of you have been curious in the past and I just want to share it and show it with you all and have some fun with it. Maybe I'll show you some new cards, some new art. Maybe you'll remember back to uh, some older cards or something like that. We remember when you were younger. And I just want to go through it and have some fun with you all. I'm going to be showing you, like, everything that I pretty much have. I do have a bunch of, like, binders. Like, I have, like, uh, I have this green one right here. I have this blue one right here. I have a black one right here. And I have one more black one. And then I do have a small little, um, small one as well. I do think I have a dragon shield small one as well. But I don't think I have anything in it right now. And I will be doing this in parts, so I don't think I'm going to be getting through all of the binders and everything right now. And I do have, like, some boxes and stuff. Like, I have these random, like, gift boxes. These are, like, a Kaladesh gift boxes. And they do have some cards in them and some, like, little knickknacks and, like, tiny little Hobby Japan, like, stuff. And, like, this one's just full of cards that I'll be going through in another uh, section of the video. I don't think I'm going to be getting through that today. It's super heavy. And I do have, like, a bunch of, like deck boxes and stuff like that maybe i'll be going through some random deck boxes it looks like i have some rats in here maybe like a rat deck i have and what is this some random just some like random stuff that i'll be going through as well looks like some sort of uh little angel just hanging on there i think i have a bunch of angel cards in there and just a bunch of random stuff as well i do have this huge uh, giant metal briefcase from uh Kakapopo TCG. They sent me one. I actually did a giveaway on it. And if you do like any of these products that I'm showing you, like uh, the briefcases, the binders, the sleeves, the deck boxes, most likely I have done reviews on them in the channel. So just browse through my channel and you'll probably be able to find them. Anyways, just a bunch of sort of cards in here. I think a bunch of revised cards, maybe some older rares up top and some stuff in top loaders up here and some random like rule books and like metal dice and stuff like that. So I'll kind of just be going through my Magic the Gathering collection, sharing with you all, just having some fun with it, reminiscing, and just sharing my love for the game with you all. So I hope you like these kind of videos. It will be longer, and this will be in parts. And yeah, so let's go together. And I guess I'm just going to start with this just because it's small. And it was on top. This is um, a small little binder I have. It's like a two-pocket binder. I have done reviews on it, so if you're curious, just please check it. And what I have in here is actually... Um, the Modern Horizon art series. I love the idea of the Modern Horizon art series. I wanted to get the full set when I found out about it. I think I purchased it on eBay for just about like under $10 or something that includes shipping. So really not that expensive. It doesn't have to do with the gameplay. It doesn't have to do with making your deck better or anything like that. It's just strictly the art of the Magic the Gathering cards in like a new collectible sort of way. I love the idea of it. Each of the cards, they are the size of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, they're full art, which I love. Uh, the orientation is like horizontal, which is pretty cool instead of like the traditional like top down, I would say. And on the back of it, it has the name of the card, Chiller Pillar, and then the art as well. So it tells you the name of it, the art, and uh, it says what number it is in the set. So this is the first card out of 54. I do have them in like order. And I think it's cool that the back has like a blank space if like you want to get it signed by the artist or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be cool if you went up to them and they just sign it. So I do love this whole set. Um, art is really what got me into Magic the Gathering. I think the art in the game is fantastic. So when I find out they had some sort of like art set, I had to have my hands on it. I'll be all for it, especially in the future if they come out with more of them. Got uh, just some really cool pictures. Got Chiller Pillar. You got this guy right here. There's some like ninja with some eyes over it. Such interesting art. I like this one here. It's like a reflecting pool. He's looking in on himself, looking in on himself, looking in on himself, looking in on himself. Looks like Aladdin or something like that right on his carpet. Got some like pe uh, parrot flying in the background. Not parrot. Toucan. Beautiful like angel right here. Got a Renin 6. Absolutely beautiful. Love the art. I think it's such a wonderful idea. Such a cool car right here. It's like the uh, young and the old and... Uh, this side, the flowers are blooming. This side, they're decaying. I love the split. Their souls are somehow the same, but time has passed. 
this is fun out right here. It's like, it reminds me of like some Morning Tude or like Lorwyn sort of cards, some like fun fairy tale stuff, almost like the new Throne of El- Eldraine sort of vibes, like bring it back to like Brother Grimm and stuff like that. Interesting, it's like some goblin guy collecting eyeballs with frogs on his head. So love the purples in the background. Got the four sisters hair, got some sort of bear. So I'm just all for this sort of art series. I think it's fantastic. This guy's riding a zebra corn, ridiculous. What is this, Urza? You got some like lion guy here, some creepy looking vampire. Got Sisse, the weather like captain, another car of some like creepy goblin, reminds me of like Lorwyn around that era. Staring at you with blood on his weapon. Another goblin. Got some like soul uh, monster right there. They got this vampire covering his eyes with the townsfolk above, uh, below, not even knowing. This card's interesting. You think it's upside down, but no, that's just the angle of the card. They want you to realize that he's coming from the ceiling, he's got a knife in hand, and he means business. This guy right here always reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for whatever reason. The ninjas that they always had to fight. Interesting, crazy uh, goblin, like, goopy gum creature right here. It looks like he's made out of bubble gum or cotton candy. Just crazy. Very bizarre. And they brought back slivers in Modern Horizons. Absolutely love slivers. Actually, I have one of the binders I have. I'll be going through on, on these couple videos. We'll have a bunch of slivers, and I do have a sliver collection. Absolutely love slivers. One of my favorite tribal creatures. That, zombies, probably my top two favorite tribal of all time. Absolutely love it. I love how slivers work together. I love to look at them. And speaking of the look of them... I'm so happy Modern Horizons went back to the original look of Slivers. In the M14 era, Slivers took like a strange direction where they turned the Slivers from their like cylindrical pointy kind of creatures to kind of a beast looking sort of creature, almost like a Sasquatch or like bear or like just like a totally different feel than Slivers. And I wasn't that happy with the direction. I still love Slivers, but the art direction they took for that, I was not a fan of it. I'm super happy. They rolled it back and brought it back to the original sort of like family or body shape of slivers absolutely love it love the pointy heads love the pointy arms very cool love slivers some of my favorite creatures ever absolutely fantastic Ooh, one of my new favorite artists in magic the gathering uh my all-time favorite artist is ron spencer and one of my new favorite artists for sure is seb mckenna he draws some fascinating interesting dark art absolutely crazy got this guy he's like a soul catcher or something he's got like a a red sun in his head and he's chasing these people around trying to collect their souls just this lengthy creature beautiful background absolutely fantastic arted soul herder by seb mckinnon one of my favorite artists now of the new generation absolutely beautiful he drew these two as well absolutely beautiful love it uh beautiful lotuses right here kind of petals just flowing in the wind beautiful this like lady is dreaming this reminds you of like time or something like that very strange just love the whole art series interesting this line is like uh dematerializing or like lagging out i got this bull guy coming at you a beautiful soul creature or something right here what is the name of this one i'm just curious for myself a uh, face of divinity yep that's that makes sense you got this like uh, troll guy literally eating this guy here uh you got some sort of metallic lion metal guy this reminds me of the show love death and robots if you ever seen that there's like an episode i believe it's that show where there's like a woman metal line that like goes around the city very interesting show uh this is i think more than besieged it looks like a war between pyrexia or something like that and then the humanoid creatures got the corpse guy right here who's actually uh, banned or restricted or something like that cool lightning elemental. love the art right here it's like made out of bones a uh, wood lightning and fire going on fantastic just a great merge of the elements got some sort of frog guy right here chasing a dove this headless specter riding some crazy looking thing reminds me of the monster from Nightmare Before, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, crawling around Oogie Boogie or something like that. Crazy looking guy here. Got the swords. The swords came back in this set. Beautiful swords. Absolutely fantastic. Was this Blood and Sinew or something, the sword? I don't remember the names of them. Sword of Sinew and Steel. Sinew. Beautiful land. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a lovely card right here. Love the blues coming there. Bone saw, zero cost artifact. If you know that card, it looks like Wall of Swords or something like that. Beautiful, sad art. They got like black lotuses hanging up over here. Got some like moon in the foggy background, bloody ground. You see someone's skull right there and the white flag of peace. So the battle is over and everything will regrowth. Beautiful land right here. Got like glints, glints of light in the trees. People live in there. And then this is like the Mox, like Mox Tantalite or something like that. It's funny. I actually have more cards um, from the art series than I do have Modern Horizons. I think I literally opened up like one or two packs of Modern Horizons cards. So it's funny that I actually have more cards of just the art series. That's how much I love the art of this game. 
it's just fantastic. So that is like my first little binder. I thought these were special to me, so I thought they deserved a nice little place, and this binder was perfect for it. So I put the Modern Horizon Art Series in here, and next I'm just going to go down. Let's check out uh, check out this big green binder right here. I might have to rearrange my camera. Let's see if it will show all on camera. All right, let me just rearrange my camera real quick. Give me one second. There we go. Okay. Uh, it needs to be up a little bit more. Okay. So this binder right here is, um, what is this? A, it's a Z Folio LX. It's one of those like pleather binders to the zipper. Uh, I was a little bit bummed when I did a review on this because of some of the the card pockets actually like start to rip a bit, so I didn't like the quality that much of this one. But I've heard mixed mixed messages from other people. Anyways, this is just um, foils. This is a bunch of foils, ones that I just really like, think are interesting, or just my more valuable foils I put in this binder right here. I'm a sucker for old foils. I think they're beautiful. I've opened up some uh, collections on this channel. Uh, one of them was including a whole bunch of old foils, and I absolutely love that. That video is somewhere on my channel, so feel free to watch it if you like. But like. Look how beautiful these old foils are. These old multicolor foils. This is Urza's filter from Invasion. Multicolored spells cost up to two less to play. Just look at the foiling on it. Absolutely beautiful. I am a sucker for old foils. Got like Ground Seal, uh, the Cloud Keeper, uh, Sigil Tracer, just a bunch of cards. Thornbright Staff, uh, Shape Shift Sharer. Just kind of going through these and let's just enjoy them a bit. Got Into the North. Uh, what is this? Uh, some sort of spinneret sliver, simic growth chamber. Just love the old foils. Love the old multicolor border on the foils. Absolutely beautiful. Just love the rainbow in there. Fantastic. Oop. Got some stuff from, uh, uh, what is this? Cold Snap coming right here. Some Ravnica. I got Manatith. Very interesting card. What is this? Uh, Planet Shift or, or something like that. I think Plane Shift where they took cards from like uh, blue abilities and put them on like white cards. So this is an example of that. Usually like this would be a blue a blue specific ability. Counter target spell and this is control is pay one. But they threw it on a white card. So this is like Spell Spike but a white version of it. One white counter target spell and this is control plays one. Instant speed. Very cool. I think they also made a black one like called Dash Hopes. Counter target spell and this uh, control pays five. Very interesting. Other cards right here, some 9th edition. Very interesting. Um, some of the older sets like, uh, what is it, 7th uh, edition, 8th uh, edition, ninth edition. They're white border sets, but for whatever reason, their foils are black border. Very strange. I'm not sure the reasoning or rationale behind that. Maybe it was just something with the process. They couldn't do white border for the foils. But every other card in the set, minus foils, are white border. So it's very interesting. They're quite sought after. Um, probably because they're black border. I'm not really sure. Some of the earlier foils as well. Very, just very interesting that they were white border set, but the foils were black border. I'm not sure why. If you know why, let me know. Relic, Relic of Progenesis. Very interesting. Common. Got Homing Sliver. Spontaneous Generations. Just love the old foil rares from like, uh, or just old foils from like, this is Mercadian Mask. Got the glint, the little shooting star there. Spontaneous Generation. Three and a green. Look at that, he's hurting these sort of monsters. Put 1-1 one, one green sprawling creature token to play for each card in your hand. More cards in your hand, more creatures. Just love these older sort of rares. This is from like Time Shifted where they reprinted cards from some older sets. Um, in the old frame, beautiful. Fiery Justice is originally from Ice Age, I believe. Just beautiful. Got Shiv and Phoenix. I just am a sucker for these old foils from like Urza's and stuff like that. When it's put into your graveyard from a play, return it to its owner's hand. So, if it's killed... Put it back to your hand. Just beautiful. It recurs. There's that Urza's, Le Urza's Legacy. Beautiful. Got Bad Moon right here. This is a fantastic card. Fantastic card from Time Shifted. Black creatures get plus one, plus one. Got the moon with a sad face on it. Bad Moon. Fantastic. Some 7th edition rares. I love 7th edition as well. One of the sets I grew up with. Target creature gets plus 7, plus 7 till end of turn. Might of Oaks. Fantastic. Look at the art by Greg Staples. So it's just so much fun to just kind of reminisce, go through it, check out some of these older cards. What is this? This is something from, from Judgment. Destroy all creatures unless a player has breaking point. Deal 6 damage to him or her. Creatures destroyed this way can't be regenerated. 3 mana to destroy all creatures unless they take 6 damage. Not bad. Matthew D. Wilson. Beautiful art. Love the old foiling. They were just so much more reflective, I feel. Demonic Con Collusion, uh, Shard Volley, some like, uh, what is this, Morning Toot or something like that. 
Just a whole bunch of stuff going on right here. Some rare, some random uh, foil lands and stuff like that. Uh, Cemetery Puka. What is this? Uh, Shadowmoor. Just crazy looking art. Love the reflectiveness on it. Love these older foils. This is a cool card right here. It'd be cool to make like a deck around this guy right here. A barbarian uh, deck. All barbarians get plus one, plus one. And you can pump up barbarians. If you pay red, give it plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Three mana to put it out there. It's a two, two. Huh. <laughs> Cool art. Who drew this? By Ron Spears. Very cool. So just so much fun to just kind of reminisce and check this out. Uh, this card up here, I like this card. I just like the art on it. This is from Cold Snap. It reminds me of Jester's Cap. I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of that. Just adjust the lighting. Very cool card. Very cool. Creepy. That's just some cool cards right here. Got Wild Canter down there. Very cool. And just a bunch of... Uh, rares and stuff like that got pirate ship right here cool art the time shifted i think this is like an actual uh and uh, from the alpha edition but um time shifted back down to that era got some random prophecy rare cards right here the old set with like the crystal right there basic lands each player control can't be target of spells or abilities as long as the player controls three or fewer lands very beautiful love the border if you hold it in the light sometimes you can't even tell what color the card is it's beautiful. I love them. I'm a sucker for old foils. I really am. Got the Uthden Troll up top. Just beautiful. Thorn Elemental. Man, this brings me back when I was a kid. This was the one I got in my starter deck. And my brother got this guy down here. And we fought our decks together. I, the Thorn Elemental, versus his rocks. They are pretty much um, do the same thing. Except his was able to regenerate. And mine was a little bit bigger. Uh, I can deal damage uh, to defending player if they weren't blocked. So pretty much they can just uh, attack and not be blocked. Almost, I guess. And then uh, this guy could be regenerated. Yep, I remember them thoroughly. I think mine got mine from the starter. I actually opened up that starter on this channel. And he got his from like the 2000 starter. Just love the old foils. Just beautiful. Creatures you control get plus 7, plus 7 till end of turn. But 9 mana. Super expensive. But that could definitely win the game very easily if you can get that mana. Got some sort of zombie creature right here from Legions. Love the Legion cards. Amplify at the beginning of your upkeep. If it's in your graveyard, pay three. If you do, return it to your hand. Look at him. Crazy looking thing by Edward P. Beard Jr. Lovely art. Absolutely fantastic. Just love the old foils. Just so beautiful to me. I just love collecting them. I enjoy them thoroughly. And it's always good to just thoroughly enjoy your cards. Don't just hide them away and forget about them. Otherwise, what's the point? Look at that. Feeding Frenzy. How beautiful. Poor guy's getting eaten by zombies. He doesn't even look too scared or anything. He's just like trying to swim out of them like water. <laughs> Target creature gets negative X, negative X. Until in turn where X is the number in zombies in play. More zombies you have, the better it is. Put it in a zombie tribal. All about that zombie tribal. Interesting cards right here. I think this is an Arabic card. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's from uh, 2001. The 26th of May. I think it's Arabic. Jim Nielsen. Interesting. Uh, some of the text down there is still in English, but I don't know what it's saying. Some sort of elemental creature, I'm just guessing. Got an old one right here. This is a really old one. The Beast of Burden. Six mana from 1999. One of the early foils from Urza's Legacy. He's got the stamp there. His power and toughness equals to the total number of creatures in play. He's holding some gold. Running away with it. Reminds me of Iron Giant. Beautiful. Just love these older cards right here. Thunderclap Elemental, just beautiful. Stupefying Touch, Vigilant Drake, uh, just so, so awesome. Just a classic. Oh, wait, this is a, this is Italian or something like that. Yeah, I think there's Italian. Giant Octopus, I was like, that's not how you spell it, Octopus. Just love checking out this old stuff. I'm just super fond of these old foils. The Legacy foils are fantastic, I think. Got the old... Kind of hammer and anvil looking thing right there. Sick and tired. Two and a black. These poor guys are tied up and they're sick. Two tiger creatures. Each get negative one, negative one. Beautiful. Love these. I remember when I was younger. Oh, here we go. When I was younger, this was one of my favorite foils. I had one of these when I was a kid. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Cool, creepy art. Reminds me of the guy from the X-Men. Uh, the the night, the night Crawler, I think that's his name. Got some random old um, foil lands. I love the old foil Odyssey lands. Uh, this is one of my favorite lands as well from Invasions by Ron Spencer. Absolutely beautiful. 
just beautiful. Looks like an opossum hanging out in the tree right there. Something swimming in the water. Got some sort of lizard right there. Just beautiful. So much detail going on. Ron Spencer, beautiful artist. Absolutely. So I love collecting all those. Got a couple old lands right there. Got moon lace. I think these are just some like rares coming up right here. Just a bunch of foil rares it looks like. Uh, skill borrower. Got wind weaver. Just kind of just going through these. If I see any cool I'll just pull them out. Interesting car from Cold Snap right here. Void Maw. Look at that crazy looking thing. Like a parasite coming at you. Wow. Trample. If another creature would put to a grave from play, remove it from the game instead. Put a card removed from the game with a Maw Void into its owner's graveyard. It gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. Boom. It's a four, five. Beast of a creature that can get bigger from Cold Snap. Very interesting set, Cold Snap. Actually, they reprinted uh, some snow stuff in Modern Horizons as well. Just a bunch of cards right here. What is this? Uh, Shards of Alara. Got Morning Tide, maybe. Some more Shards of Alara right here. Interesting Future Sight. Future Sight is an interesting set. I think this is some sort of promo. It's got that weird kind of streaks on it right there. Um, yeah, I think some sort of promo card, but Future Sight's so interesting. The, uh, the borders of them were so different than anything. Uh, I don't think it's stuck because it's just so different. The mana cost is on this side. It's one in a red. It's just so different. Usually when you look at a magic card, you go, go okay, mana cost, simple. And now it's, you, you really got to like study it to figure out what it's mana cost is. So I kind of think that's why it didn't stick. But it was cool that they kind of tried a new direction. This just looks like a bunch of, uh, promo cards and stuff like that. Random DCI stuff. Not sure you can see the... DCI, I think they gave them out somewhere. And these ones have the little, like, uh, the glint in it. It's interesting. This glint right here is actually, like, the glint from, like, the old foil cards. Like, right there, you can see, the, like, the, the shooting star. That's pretty much what it is. It's like, oh, a foil card, promo, something like that. Some sort of Colossus. Some more stuff right here. Got some of these from Friday Night Magic. Got this tomb right here. I think this is a cool card. I always wanted to make a deck of uh, of just this. Make a whole bunch of bats coming at you. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Some more sort of like uh, pre-release cards it looks like. Uh, from Journey of the Nyx I believe that is. Some uh, Almond Cat. Gutter Snipe classic card right there. Just some more random rares. These are always interesting to me. I do have more of these somewhere in one of my like binders. Um, cool cool tokens. Foil tokens and on the back of them they actually have art as well. Which I think is beautiful. Really cool if you're like a premium sort of token for your deck. Just some more foil rares coming at you. I uh, always like these uh, flip cards. Foil flip cards are cool. I was wondering if you got a foil flip card, would both sides be foil? And the answer is, yeah, they're they're both foil. Very cool. So it's always cool. What is that from uh, Avoncrest Restored or something like that? Some more Shadows over Innistrad. Some Battle for Zendikar. Very cool. All right. Sorry, someone was just knocking on the door real quick. And I uh, got cards like uh, Mirror Weller from Ward and Bestige. Some more Future Sight stuff. This one's always interesting. Reminds me of that, like, uh, the Forgotten card that's actually newer. Looks like Mike Wazowski's cousin. Big Eye Guy coming right at you. And just a lot of foils. And actually couldn't even fit all the foils I have in here just because um, I have a lot of them. That one collection I purchased really just helped fill it up quite a bit. So, yeah, this is just my first two binders right here. This one is just full of foils. Probably my favorite cards in here are probably some on the front page right here. This is one of my favorite ones. Urza's Filter, just a beautiful card. Such great condition. Ground Seal, fantastic as well. Just love the older foils, just like these middle pages right here of all just these uh, older foils. I would say like anything, uh, maybe like 7th edition and back is just absolutely love those cards. Absolutely love them. Just fantastic. So anyways, I hope you guys kind of enjoy these kind of videos. I'm probably going to be going through more of my binders and stuff down the road. So just keep tuned for them. And I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Uh, let me know what you think about these. Let me know if you want to see more. I'm going to be making more videos soon. And I just want to say spread love and positivity. Have a wonderful day. And keep on keeping on. And I'll catch you on the next one.